What's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. I am back in the car. Another week has come and gone and that means it is time to head on out to the store and go Blu-ray hunting. Not a ton of brand new releases today. The two biggest are the Superman 4K collection box set and also Knock at the Cabin 4K and Blu-ray. So my plan is per usual heading off to Best Buy and also Walmart to see what I could find. Cross your fingers for me. Let's be honest. I always come home with something every single week. So what are we waiting for? Let's go. Here we go, stop number one of the day. We're going into Best Buy, we're going into Best Buy. In the new releases at Best Buy, we still have Jesus Revolution, Rebel Without a Cause, Anime, Rick and Morty Season 6, Batman Doom the King of Gotham 4K, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 4K Slip and Steelbook. Dazed and Confused 4K Criterion, Warm Body Steelbook, Belly with the 4K Slipcover. Look at what is back in stock. We have the Dread Steelbook. Price point is $19.99, so if you missed out on it the first round, head to your local store, pick it up. Godfather, but only the first. Did we actually sell the other two? I don't know. The Scream movie is still in stock. Clerks 3, Wayne's World, League of Super Pets. But I am here for Superman or Knock at the Cabin. So let's come around this way. Here we go. Here is the brand new release today. We have Knock at the Cabin. The Blu-ray is $25.99. The 4K is $30.99. And the 4K Steelbook is $38.99. I am not a fan of this cover artwork. I feel like it's just too simple and too basic. So most likely I'm going with the 4K slip. I don't know, the 4K slip just looks a little bit more interesting to me. Plus it's cheaper, it's $8 cheaper, so who can go wrong? Flashdance still in stock, the 4K slip and steelbook. Cool Hand Luke steelbook still in stock. A Man Called Auto Blu-ray, I Wanna Dance With Somebody, Babylon 4K, Wakanda Forever, Black Adam, all the usuals, but let's head on over to the other brand new release rack. Over in the other brand new release section, they still have Deep Impact on 4K, 80 for Brady, Skyline as well, Baby Ruby from last week, Haunting of Julia, Transfusion, Cabin in the Woods, however, that's not where it's supposed to be, House of a Thousand Corpses box set, The Fisher King 4K Criterion, also Midnight Run 4K, Cocaine Bear, Magic Mike's Last Dance, all of the usuals. Am I picking up Chucky season two today? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. Let's head on over here. Okay, so we do have one Superman box set and it looks like it's marked down to $89.99. I'm tempted. Oh gosh, what do I do? What do I do? Do I pick up Superman today or do I wait? I'm not sure. I don't know what to do. We still have Star Trek, Insurrection and Generations, and the four movie collection pack, $70.99. Star Trek Strange New World still here, plain, Blu-ray, 4K, All-Star Superman. Those John Wick box sets are still in stock, still the same price of $79.99. Here's a couple of other brand new releases. We have Children of the Corn, the reinvented, reimagined Children of the Corn. It's only $12.99 and Yellowstone season five on Blu-ray for $24.99. And that is pretty much it for the brand new, the brand new releases. A lot of items we've seen again and again, nothing really exciting to show you here. So I think I'm just gonna putz around a little bit, see what I wanna pick up, make my final decisions and head on over to Walmart. Final stop of the day, heading on into Walmart. In the new releases at Walmart, they are all about Yellowstone. Look at Kevin Costner. Okay, so we have Yellowstone Season 5 on Blu-ray, as well as DVD. We've got some brand new WrestleMania. 80 for Brady still here, Blu-ray. Here is Knock at the Cabin. They only have Blu-ray. Only Blu-ray. I thought that was DVD. Only Blu-ray available right now. Champions DVD. Surprised they didn't have that Blu-ray over at Best Buy. Here we have All Quiet on the Western Front Blu-ray out today, 1996 here at Walmart. Unwelcome is also a brand new release, Blu-ray and DVD. Plane is still here. 
the ritual killer from last week children of the corn down at the bottom Megan is still here a man called Otto Jesus Revolution Puss in Boots and of course Magic Mike and his last dance in the middle aisle with the brand new releases we still do have a lot of the same ones from last week we have baby ruby invitation to a murder supercell i really wish supercell was on blu-ray because i wanted to pick that one up for disaster movie month we got blood relatives kids versus aliens i think this is a brand new one space wars space wars quest for the deep star Oh, here is the wacky Walmart title of the week. It's called Meteor First Impact. Kind of looks like a play on Deep Impact. It's only $7.50, so that's a pretty decent deal. Not a bad slipcover. Gets your attention. And the tagline is, this is when the end begins. That's really wordy. Too wordy for me. They still got Swim, Code of the Assassins, Lullaby, The Offering, Transfusion, The Old Way, Breathe. I think that was from last week. Night of the Killer Bears, kind of like a psycho Ted with a knife. Dinosaur Hotel, the next level, the beast below. And then you have women talking. <laughs> I like how an Oscar nominated movie is right next to the beast below. Alien Invasion, is that from last week? I can't even remember at this point. They all kind of blend together. The Easter Bunny Massacre sequel, Shark Waters. They should put all the shark movies together in one row. The Frozen Front. I think I saw that. I think I've seen all of these ones before. Okay, I think that's pretty much it for the brand new releases here at Walmart. Not a big brand new release week, so I guess we're just going to head on home so I could show you what I picked up today. Back at home, it's time for me to show you what I got when I went out today. So Walmart was a complete bust. Didn't find anything over there. So everything I picked up today was from Best Buy. Starting off with Knock at the Cabin 4K Slipcover. This is the newest film from M. Night Shyamalan. I did go to the theater to see this movie and I enjoyed it for what it was. The ending kind of left a little bit lacking, but overall I did enjoy the film. So I figure I would add it into my collection. Now I chose the 4K slip over the 4K steelbook. I mentioned this already in the video earlier, but with the 4K steelbook, the artwork just did not impress me. I will say it did look better in person than it did online. But still, I didn't really go for it. So I figure I'll save $8. I'll pick up the 4K slip. And saving $8 really does come in handy, especially since your other item of the day is the Superman 4K collection box set. I'm sure a lot of you were probably just going to assume that I would be picking this up today. You guys know me by now. Yes, I did want to pick up the Superman collection. I do remember watching Superman 1 and 2 but it's been so many decades since I've seen these movies. So to rewatch them in 4K and watching three and four, even though I know three and four aren't the best movies, but to see the entire franchise in 4K will be a great experience. And I like the box set. I think it looks pretty nice and I cannot wait to open it. So that is everything that I picked up today. Only two items, but it was enough for my wallet, trust me. But the big question is, what did you find if you went out today? Comment down below and let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave and I'll see you next time.